It is six months since I made this video about the Google AI Studio, sharing my opinions and trying to test it out and what we can do with it when it comes to web design and web development, specifically in WordPress. And now I want to follow up and see what has changed, what's new, is it having more, you know, possibilities? Is it more capable uh, to use? And yeah, what, what's happening? I'm back here in the Google AI Studio, you know, homepage. Basically, all you have to do is go to aistudio.google.com and then it will bring you to a page like this. You know, Google AI Studio is not the typical, you know, chatbot, like, you know, ChatGPT, Grok and the likes. This gives you three more possibilities. It gives you uh, the chat option, just like ChatGPT, where you can just enter in a prompt right over here and then get answers to that. And then you have this, which we are going to come back to because that's where we are going to focus today in today's video. And then you also have the possibility to uh, generate images and also the possibilities to build apps using Gemini. Today, we are basically going to focus on the stream option, which I found more interesting, specifically uh, regarding asking for help when you're trying to navigate issues on home pages and all that stuff, but also with, you know, things in the real world, like with devices and things in your house that you don't really understand or in areas where you basically need help. And then Gemini will help you look at that item and tell you or ask you questions on how you can go Further. Now, in this video, let's try to use Gemini to access our homepage and try to ask it a few more questions, just like we did in the previous video. But we want to see, has it improved? Can we actually now rely on Gemini when we are doing web development, web design and, you know, troubleshooting issues within WordPress website? So back here in my dashboard, I have a website already built over here. So I'll take you here and show you the front end. This is how this website looks like. So we have a calendar. It's like an, you know, event website where you can add calendars and uh, showcase events and add events and all that stuff. To get started, I'm going to come over here to the page of AI Studio. So I'll come here to stream and I'm going to say share screen. All right. So I'm now in Google AI Studio. I've enabled Gemini before Gemini was trying before Gemini sessions were about 10 minutes long. But now I want to see if it can actually go further than that and also help me fix more technical problems. OK. Hey, Gemini. Hello there. I'm here to help with your technical problems. Let me know what you need. All right. So thank you. I'm taking you straight into my WordPress website. I'm over here. Are you able to access my screen? Yes, I can see your WordPress dashboard. What are you working on? I am trying to add an event on e on this events calendar, and I'm not so sure how to add that event. Can you help me do that? Sure, I can guide you through that. First, please click on the plus sign at the top left corner of the calendar. Do you mean this here? Yes, that plus sign. Click on it to create a new event. No, actually, this says to create a new calendar. So this is not because all I want is to add an event to the existing calendar, not to create a new calendar. Apologies, I misunderstood. To add an event to the existing calendar, please click on the specific day you want to add the event to. I'm going to add an event on the 11th of September, right over here. So how can I assign the different days and event details right over here in this event? Okay, you selected September 11th. Now you should see options to add the event details, such as the title, time, and location. Fill in the information for your event. Right, so here we are. I'll add some details. That sounds good. After you've added the details, make sure to click the Create button to save the event. Okay, I've saved the event, but now the question is, how do I make this event also to appear on the next month automatically. 
To make the event repeat in the next month, you need to set it as a recurring event in the settings options. Look for an option to set a recurrence, such as monthly, when you're editing the event. And where do I go to edit the event? You should be able to click on the event you just created to open its settings. Then look for an option to edit the event. Okay. And within those settings, you should find the recurrence option. And okay, here I've clicked on the event and it has brought up this pop-up. Where should I click exactly? Hi, Gemini. Okay, so it looks like now Gemini has closed off. Like it has been before, it was only taking about 10 minutes for it to help you through the entire process of troubleshooting or doing anything. And it seems like it's still doing the same thing. So I have to start it again, going to reload the page. And I'm going to say share screen once again. Okay. Hey, Gemini. Hello, how can I help you today? Okay, before you went off, I was trying to edit this event over here and I want to ask you where should I click to edit the event? To edit the event, please click on the pencil icon in the top right corner of the pop-up box. So I want to ask you another question, Gemini, because I am not sure which tool I'm using. Are you able to know which tool is helping me to create these events? Yes, based on this interface you're showing me, it appears you are using the Events Manager plugin for WordPress. Okay, and what's the name of the plugin? The plugin is called the Events Manager plugin. Actually, that's not the Events Manager plugin. This is another plugin. Can you, are you able to spot which plugin is that here in my plugins area? Ah, I see. The plugin you are using is the Events Calendar plugin, not the Events Manager plugin. It's listed on your plugins list. Okay, and uh, who is the maker of that plugin? The Events Calendar plugin is developed by Motopress. Awesome, thank you. Now, moving forward with Gemini, I want to ask Gemini if it can actually help me to edit the front page of the Events page. I have the Events page over right here, and Gemini, can you help me to change this card over here on the events page? I'm not so sure where to go to edit that. To edit the content on the events page, you'll need to go to the pages section of your WordPress dashboard. Find the events page in the list and click on edit. Okay, so I go back here and then I come to pages and then all pages. I think this is the events page. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. You should see the events calendar page listed there. Click on edit to modify it. Okay, great. And here I am here. So, so I'm pretty happy that now Gemini could actually take me back and I'm able to change the page content just like it directed. But now the question is, hi Gemini. As I was speaking in that process, Gemini again went off. And as I can see right now, it's just about 12 minutes of recording. So it means that it again went off before even the 10 minutes elapsed. So I don't know if that's because I don't have any credits in my account and that's why it's getting or it's on and off. Or it's just still a bit buggy that it can't stand for the entire 10 minutes during the entire recording. So that's one thing now you have to consider if you are planning to use Gemini. But now let's try to use Gemini to actually have access to something else. I want to use Gemini to help me navigate this tablet over here to access certain apps and to do some edits on those apps. And that's all we are going to be using Gemini looking through my camera. So let's try that now in the practical way. I hope you enjoy this part of the video. Hi, Gemini. Hello. Well, I have my tablet right in front of me. Are you able to see it? Yes, I can see your tablet. Awesome. So with this tablet, I am new to it and I want to understand how first of all to unlock it. Also, so how can I do the unlocking at the moment? Okay. To unlock your tablet, can you try swiping up from the bottom of the screen? 
So I want you to direct me how I can use the freedom tool to actually draw some, some shapes and, you know, take some notes. Great. Now on your screen, can you locate and open the app called Freedform? It might be an app with a specific icon. Okay, how, that, uh, how does that icon look like? It's a stylized square with some rounded corners on it. It should be on your home screen. Good. Yeah, I see it. Once you open Freeform, you should see an option to create a new board or document. Look for a button that says New Board or a plus sign. Tap on that to start a new document. To draw shapes, look for a shape icon, usually a circle or square, in the toolbar at the bottom or top of the screen. Tap on that to select a shape. Okay, so, ah, here I go. How can I move the shape to the right top left-hand corner? To move the shape, tap on it to select it, then drag it with your finger or stylus to the top left corner of the screen. Okay, now I want you to help me to do just very simple mathematics. And uh, I've got a number which I'm copying from a sheet and I want you to help me to solve it. Okay, I see the number. What mathematical operation would you like to perform on it? So a square root of 33 and plus 25. The square root of 33 is approximately 5.74. Adding 25 to that gives you approximately 30.74. Okay, so I've tested Gemini on a real life project, like on this web project in WordPress, and it was able to direct me to certain parts and uh, what I should do in one way or the other. And also it seemed to be very sure of where I should go and what I should do. Unfortunately, it still runs out. I mean, it closes up on me and then I don't know what exactly to do. And then I have to restart again the screen or the page where I am, you know, in this Gemini AI studio. So I have to start a new conversation. But I like the fact that regardless of where it left, once it's able to access your screen, it can just start from right over there to navigate you through the different things you're doing. I really have to mention that I appreciate how much effort and time has been put to build the vision of this app so that it's able to just look at what is available or what is able to access and then it can give you directions on what to do uh, in that scenario especially when i asked it to show me where to do the app thing and then it was able to show me where to go and access stuff on my tablet and all that stuff i'm a bit really impressed if i really have to mention i feel like now gemini is a bit more sure and more certain of what is you know in front of it and it's very you know precise in giving the directions and not so ambiguous and i think it's promising where the future of gemini and all this visual you know help that it's trying to create using the access to the camera and all the things in front of it is concerned I'm also happy that it can help us with our web projects right here within WordPress. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to the next six months making a follow-up video on this video. Have a good time and goodbye.